is the 4U100, which is our first uh, template based on a Tegra chip integrated here as a system on a chip, which is powering the whole system. A 10 inch template with a 1024 times 600 resolution and based on the Android 2.2, which is supporting full Flash 10.1, which is supporting full HD video and basically is uh, very easily expandable through interfaces which are integrated. So you have a USB, HDMI, USB host and some SD card. Basically you can upgrade your 16 GB internal memory with this whole interfaces through um, USB memory or a normal SD card. So this is basically a very interesting thing. The graphics user interface is a bad apps based graphics user interface showing that and here we can look at how fast it's powered. Our pictures. Multi-touch functionality. So here you see quick reaction time. Multi-touch means also increasing, decreasing. So this is really working pretty well. And a nice thing is full HD support, which means that the reactive display here, just click on it, and within a second you got the video. Very reactive system, full HD support, which can be put out into a TV, full HD TV through the HDMI port. An interesting thing is also that we have here multitasking. We see here that different applications are running in parallel, so full multitasking possibility. Quick search functions and the possibility to look up different apps. For example, the Compass apps, which is then showing the direction. Different apps you can just download. And an interesting thing also is that you have a Documents to Go application. Here we see the presentation in PowerPoint, so it's fully compatible with some office documents. And you see here the PowerPoint presentation. Basically, we have a long battery runtime of between uh, 8 and 10 hours, depending on the way we use it. Good, so here you have the docking connector, which makes it possible to dock the whole device in the docker. Here you see the AC connector, that's the headphone, HDMI down there, USB 2.0, the USB host, and finally SD. So this can be closed. Webcam, infrared, and interesting also, you can tear off the cover and exchange the battery, which is a very important point. Okay, so basically, as I said, you can replace the battery, it's easy, you just tear off here the whole thing, and you can open this. And that's a very big uh, benefit of this. You can just take out the battery and if after a couple of years the battery is low and not working anymore, you can just replace it. We have a nice uh, functionality which is also has a tilt, tilt sensor so that you need, don't need to, uh, you can see just in what direction it is held, so that the whole landscape mode is going into portrait for example, quickly. So this is basically our tablet based on Android. We have a second de device which is more um, clamshell device type of device with an integrated keyboard with a nice uh, way of being more productive with the keyboard because you can type much quicker. Same um, settings here, you can use the whole system with nice different shortcuts on the keyboard. Here you see, for example, the whole apps which we installed on it. With the media player, for example, the same system, same graphics user interface, but mainly based on uh, keyboard input. 
So basically more for the for the blogger. Uh, maybe more for the blogger, the web 2.0 uh, users which want to be really creative and productive. So these are the two main Android devices we see them use.